What's up? Welcome to another Smoke Box for Be Real TV. I'm Dr. Green Thumb, AKA Be Real, here with my special guest, Nah Kel. about to get it lit on some <laughs> insane on funky field tips you know what i'm saying we got you know ty ray in the back we got my man c minus and uh you know let's lift off shit welcome welcome to the box kel you know what i'm saying it's good to have you up in here hey man thank you you're a man of many hats you know and that means you're busy as hell so i appreciate you know the time you took to come Knock this shit down. Um, had to. How, how does it feel juggling so many things? I mean, you know, it's it, you're you're you know a musician, you're an actor, influencer, artist, all you know. Like, I mean, that it's a lot to juggle in a lifetime. But you you know you're getting it done. I mean, you've done a lot of a lot of things um, and continue. <laughs> I think that it's a. Uh... It makes life fun. It's now so that later on I could take my time to like right. look back and relax and live my life kind of more how uh you gotta set your life up to live it how you want to in the future. I, I, I agree with you. I think you know it's how you see it and if you can strategize it in your head you can make it happen. And it seems like that's that's what you did. <coughs> you know, just sort of Taking all the right steps in the right times. I mean, fuck, man, you do. You did the clog knob, you know, right? Can't clog knob, <laughs> yeah. right? Hell yeah! And uh, you, you, you know, you, you got down with Tyler on some on, on a joint, right? Yeah, that was your first joint. Yeah, that right? was that was early as hell. That was even before I was did, making my own music. Did you feel the pressure, like uh, that being your first joint, to get down with him? Because I mean, you know, he's a beast. Uh. I don't. It was all like it was all fun. Like it was kind of more like what the fuck. Like yeah. I'm really doing this shit right now. Fuck it. Like let's go. And that's a hell of a fucking you know like to to get down with 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 the creator like that for the first song. I mean that's that's a motherfucker. Like coming up, that's that's a lot of cats' dreams, man. That's that's tight that you got to do that on your first joint. Hell yeah, it's tight. But he he the one who presented it to me like, hey, I got I want you to do this. Uh, on this and then I'm like that's awesome I'm like alright for sure but I wrote the verse and shit like, yeah. I, it wasn't like that but he was just like I, did that give you an extra like a uh, extra feel of confidence that you know he came to you and and, and you know had had this vision for you uh I mean cause that's a stamp right there hell yeah I mean I didn't really even think of it like that cause I was at the time I was just like happy I'm happy. a skater like yeah that's <laughs> like, another thing that's the <laughs> other thing is that you you know you're you're in all these different worlds like that man but it, it's all it all relates there's a bridge to all of them you know <laughs> yeah that's usually the effect so you know from from I mean that's a hell of a jump from from skating to being a musician you know that but it's it's still you know a world of performance right how do you feel like when you're when you're you know skating you know is there anything you you listen to in particular when you're when you're on the board or when you were on the board whatever you know i mean i'm gonna stay on the board forever and i i kind of just it's just everything's all energy based sometimes you might hear songs that you hear all the time and they just hit a little different one yeah. day you with the right type like group of people everybody hyped about something and that's how like the good things in skating happen like through that like energy it's like, like a vibe transfer. chemistry yeah right? like yeah. cause when it's off you can tell so and then like you'll be having a good day but then there's something about like a really good day of skating that makes it like so have you ever have you ever thought about mixing your shows like your performances with the skating? Hell yeah. 
Like you don't be the shit to be on a stage on with a half pipe and you doing Lil Wayne this did shit that. on that. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne did that. And the homies was on, on like skating it. Yeah. So. No, but you skating it and doing the verses. I really ate on everything. I really was thinking about that the other day because I was like, because of course like I plan on like doing my own tour one day. Like, it would really, take like, some take rehearsing. Hell yeah. But but if, oh man, if you could do or like that. how uh like how I went to a Drake concert and he uh had somebody come on the stage and had a twenty thousand dollar uh basketball shot yeah or fifty thousand oh, I forgot I think it might have been twenty but that'd be insane though you just had like if you could do a blood fakey boom like then get somebody like <laughs> dude that's hard that's making your show an experience too you, shit you could rock the Janet Jackson mic and. And, and do your verses while you're rocking that half pipe. Oh doing the my dance. God, come the on. Janet Jackson. Come on. <laughs> I would, Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, come yeah, on. It's you over. Kill the game with it's that over. shit. I got to do that now. <laughs> oh man. Hey, when you bring it to LA, I got to go see it. All right, for I'm, sure. I'm going to go see it. <laughs> you're going to be lit. So you obviously get hyped for performing. You, I mean, you have to. I mean, being a skater, that's a that's a, a certain feeling when you, you know, hitting the fucking the certain fucking tricks and all that shit. I mean, it's the same when I think you're on stage and that one song that you think is gonna pump the crowd up comes up and it pumps it up, man. It, it's the, is, is it a similar feeling? Hell yeah. Like. Performing is so fun because you go somewhere and <clears throat> the people, especially if they like came to like see you, that shit feels so good because they right there with you. Yeah. So like when you put in your all into the performance because you want to put on a good show, they're like there receiving a good show in a in like a way that makes you like excited. Yeah. So, cause I know that, but like right before the show, I get like hella scared, kind of. Yeah, like nervous, butterfly. like I do, like nervous butterfly. energy. Yeah, Fuck, like like, like, like at first I want everything technical to go right. That's no, that's normal. <laughs> then I want to make sure that the crowd is receptive. You know, cause you never know. Yeah, you know, cause I think a lot of us ask ourselves that question right before we're we're about to go out. Hey, what's it like out there? We'll all always ask our homies. You know, like what's the crowd looking like? Yeah. Is, you know, is it is it amped? Is it slow? Is it? I what? usually go first though. Yeah. So I, I, I ain't never really been like <laughs> No, nah, but it's, it's the same thing, you know Because, I mean, you know, when we were opening We would ask those same questions What does it look like out there? Because, you know, we oh, want to yeah, fucking yeah. amp that bitch up, you know oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's the same feeling I think you still, everybody that loves to do it Gets that nervous energy But I think that's the fuel right there That's what takes you yeah. over the fucking top You you just, you just uh, popped out some new shit, right? Yep. Or about to? 2019, uh, I dropped, uh, I dropped like last month. Last month, that's right. But it's tight because for like, it's, it's doing pretty good. Like, I put out a little video. I do all this shit myself while I also bounce everything. So I'm like, still learning the process. Yeah. That's another reason why I was excited to come here and, uh, and like chop it up with you because like as entering into music I wanted to ask you kind of like what are some ways that I could like like right now I guess the push has been before like before this project it was let me make like I'm down to put out some music just like low key right and so that I could work on the craft right like, so tighten up before you actually yeah. put something you know big out right yeah so now i feel like i'm getting like you know i'm like leveling up right at my own pace so i'm like now i want to <laughs> understand like the outer workings of like okay once you got your project your project is your project yeah everything around that like because i got my homie uh trophy yeah he uh that's, I, I make music at his house and stuff. Like he got the studio and Narco Wave. He got like all the beats, and he like paid his own money to get billboards put up. Right. Cause I don't got no deal or nothing, so I'm like independent grind, and I want it to be that way because I feel like with skateboarding, I went the like were, yeah. the route of like getting a deal. 
getting yeah getting the endorsements and all that stuff yeah so now i'm trying to understand it from the uh, uh, of the point of like i'm the ceo yeah like, this is when it comes to my shit yeah but well you know how know what it is and and this is what some older cats in the game taught taught me a long time ago and and the game's changed since <coughs> that time to now but it's it's sort of the same you know you got to have the same sort of mindset right it's it's like if you're if you're independent and you're you're doing your shit, anything you do, like so if it's like getting into uh, marketing and promoting your project, which is getting a independent publicist or an independent marketing company to to come and help figure out where to market and sell your album, right? A lot of people won't do that, right? They'll just say, you know what, fuck it, we don't got the the means for that we're just gonna put this shit together <coughs> put it out and go right and it all the some people leave it up to their social media to to just push it there right mm -hmm. but realistically you gotta look at it as an investment in yourself right if you go get that marketing company and, and that publicity company and then you invest in doing good videos to some of the best joints on that album and just pop it off and then keep the momentum you know, because back in the day, an artist would wait for a year for something to jump off. And, you know, after that, they'd go back in to start recording another record. So it's another year before that fucking record comes out. And then a whole marketing campaign happens behind putting that shit out. These days, you can pump everything out quick. You could put an album out every month if you want to. Yeah. But realistically... It's all about making people aware that you got the shit, right? So it's it's the investment in yourself as a as a as a you know, if you're if you're pushing your own material out or anybody else's, if you believe in it, you invest in it, you know, and, and you go and most likely it's gonna come back because if you feel that strongly about it, there's something there. You know what I'm saying? So I you know, that's that's how I would look at it. If 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 I was fully independent and not, you know, I didn't have the resources of a major label, I would definitely whatever hustle to to get a, a, a budget that's realistic for whatever that project is on my <coughs> end, and then just put that money into it because I'm gonna see it back yeah. through shows and and shit like that, you know, merch, yeah. all that stuff, and you know, with your brand shit, that's <laughs> not gonna be a fucking like a problem because i mean you're out there you're doing a bunch of cool shit and you don't really necessarily need the middleman yeah so that's why i was about to uh <clears throat> shit i was about to say like i'm even like in a, a a more unique position because there's people who back me for other things yeah who are willing to like invest in you yeah. in the other in and, the other shit so it's like now i'm like all right cool it's like pretty much all about the ideas like what can i come up with how can i get everybody involved yeah in the right way no but that's see that's cool because the situation is unique you do come from a world where you, you already have people that believe in you in this realm and they believe in you in the in the shit that you're trying to do now so you don't have to look far for resources if you need them yeah. and that's dope because yeah. you built that you know from something totally different yeah. That's awesome, man. You know, young artists should take a page out of your book. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, they could learn a thing or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What What do you got popping right now um, at the moment? <coughs> well, pretty ready to do Rolling Loud next month. Nice. <coughs> you just did the Carnival. 3019 just came out. Uh, I've been just working on, like, <clears throat> videos and trying to get more videos off of yeah. each project out and like finished before I put out the project right because that's probably like the smarter way to do it yes, so that everything that, has this proper role exactly you could actually strategically you know have them fucking placed and roll them out right as opposed to like most of the time people are trying to catch up to the process oh what video do we yeah. do next I like how you're approaching it, where you're just going to, you know, pick the ones you want to do, do them, and just have them on deck, ready to go. To me, that's the best way to do it. You know, do them, doing them on the, on the spur of the moment, that's cool. But, like, when you have a plan, it always makes the shit easy. I feel like 
<clears throat> making a plan and having a goal and sticking to it. <coughs> yep. <laughs> that shit like keep me sane. Yeah. You know what? It's 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 like yeah, you know, you if you have a plan you stick to it and you move. But I'll say this, right? Like in the skateboarding aspect, right? You had to you had to learn certain tricks and it took you a minute to get it. Hell right? Yeah. And you didn't like falter from it. You like instead of saying, you know what, I can't do that one, you kept putting in the time to fucking get it, right? Yeah. So it's 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 the same aspect, right? You have this this uh, muscle that that allows you to push through. It's it's you know obviously in the mental, you know, it's a non give up <coughs> type of fucking thing, right? So yeah, you know yeah. you apply that to the music and and all the other shit you're doing and fuck i think that's you know that's tenacity right there and i think that that crosses over from your skateboarding into your music and that's awesome you know another thing people should learn you know when you're good at something like like a, like a whole different lane you can apply the the same shit you know to to something else if you had another passion I like music i swear i'll be telling people that like i'm so happy <clears throat> that I came up failing way more than I ever won. Yeah. Because like, hell yeah, like fuck your head up a little bit because you really, it's physical. Yeah. So like you, so it's, it's different, but then on like the smaller scale of things, it's like anything that's mental, like when I think about making music or something, it's 10,000 times easier because you don't get hurt doing it. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like you, right. <laughs> it's not as scary. Like, it's just like, are you witty? Right. How, how are you, are you, you know, are, is your voice really good? Or yeah. like, what are you doing? But like, it's not like, are you going to get hit by a car right now? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's safe creativity, right? Cause you're being creative on the board when you're riding and doing the tricks. But there is an element of danger, right? You could fucking get hurt. You Hell know, yeah. And then you degree. do. And then and you do. And that's fuck like. <laughs> but when you're in the fucking studio, <laughs> there's less risk. You might get high as fuck. You know, but that's about it. <laughs> I think that that's why people who, <clears throat> people who, like athletes, I, should, I guess, or people who are like more physical with their body that do things like that, should always have a, a a mean of expression that's yes. not physical. <coughs> yeah. Because when I was hurt from skating, like, this whole year, I was pretty much, like, couldn't really skate because my ankle was fucked up. And that's how I got to sit in the studio for hours and hours. Oh, and, with like, the music, yeah. Learn how to, like, do shit, record myself, like, learn how to, like, make beats better. and Yeah. But that shit, it's like you, you fill in a whole void. Hey, that is a great point. And, like, so... That is a great point. Important. You know, and, and what's crazy is that there are a lot of athletes out there that, that are talented like that, that they have other talents, like either with the with uh, painting or drawing or fucking singing or, or producing yeah. and shit like that. And that that is... Making clothes from scratch. Yeah. You do or, like so many things. Yeah, like, so many different things. And, and Making shoes. Yeah. On that, the side. Like, I think so many side projects. That's dope therapy because your mind is working. It's still being creative and... And uh, it's still rolling because I think sometimes, you know, when you don't have that other outlet, you get stagnant and then you get depressed. <laughs> you know, depression hits and that's not fucking good for nobody. <laughs> yes, it, it does get it does get like this in here. <laughs> what's what's your favorite shit you like to chief? Uh Indica sativas, hybrid, <laughs> flower dabs. I be fucking with like I never really got too much into like the strains. Like, yeah, like, but I kind of know like what I like. But I like hybrids. Uh hybrids, yeah. But like <clears throat> I don't know. I like different weed. Like I like all my friends, like they just smoke OG, like just just yeah. some, just OG, they're from, OG, they're from OG. Cali, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why. 
Yeah. They want the gas, period. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. Southern Cali boys, they like that fucking, you know, OG all day. But my mom, she be smoking like flavors and like, so, but I ain't never been as high with none of my friends. Like, as, as you are now? <laughs> well, low key, but with my mom. Yeah, that's Me cool. Me and my mom be faded. Hey, <laughs> she be smoking. Like she, she be a head of like she's so like she's a real like pothead. Like she knows, like she's almost a scientist. Mm. Like, <laughs> she she knows she knows the whole fucking get down. Yeah. Is she the one introduced you to cannabis? Uh, or was it with homies and shit? I did it behind her back mm. at first. Well, at first I didn't even want to smoke when I was yeah. a little kid because I was like, my parents smoke, both of them, like. I don't want to do what they do. Like, yeah. They, yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then, it, and then they was telling me like, I was like being a obedient son. Like, they're like, you might see us smoking, but do you don't start smoking. So I'm like, all right, cool. Then I started skating and I was like, oh, skating is fun. I'll be a pro skater. Right. And then like, it also had to deal with like, I guess how I view my parents at the time. But I was just like, you don't want I, I don't want to smoke. Like what the fuck? Like, so what, who introduced, who introduced it to you? Uh, stress. Oh, one day, like one day, I was just like, "Fuck, bro!" Like <coughs> stress. Fuck, that'll like, do it. And then, hey, better fucking <laughs> weed than cigarettes, man. A lot of people lean on fucking cigarettes when they get stressed out, man. For you know, when they could lean on the weed. Yeah, I and, think you did the and right. And then, thing. like, and also, like, kind of seeing skate videos and just seeing like life unfolding. Like, yeah. I started picturing, like, picturing how I wanted my life to go. And yeah. I was like, damn, like, you know, you go see, like, you skating and shit, and you see, like, the, the good skaters, and you might see them, like, go, and they smoke, and they, they all yeah. go off, and they go smoke some oh, weed. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, these niggas smoking weed, that's weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you like, ah, oh, these niggas smoke weed, that's crazy. And then... And Opens then, up your whole world, right? Yeah, then you, like, start getting a little interested. But then, my like, it's also, too, like, my parents used to, like, smoke in the house, like, yeah, so, so it's like, you were, it's just so you, always been around. You pretty me. much, you know, grow, grew up around it Hell yeah. due to your parents, right? I was born with that's, THC in my system. No that's lot. cool that they were open like that with you. As a skater coming up, who was like your, your, your favorite that inspired you to get into skating? Uh, From the start, it was Kareem Campbell because that's like my uncle's so. up. Yeah. Like, that was a, like a, a picture of like if you skate you could do this like yeah. you could be in a video game you could have like cars like you could have cribs like it you could have like up, buy, yeah. like your know, house could look like a fucking warehouse like you could have all this stuff like for free yeah. or get and get paid so then I was like cool if you need it it's right there yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And and how about music? You know who was who was like your big influence there? Um, music, Tyler, Tabe, pretty much like uh, Chief Keith, Young Thug, Valet, <laughs> Gunna. Black Sabbath. So obviously Bad we know brains. who you'd like to. Oh, nice. All uh, right. Yeah, I guess as Bow a skater, House. you guys li- be listening to some heavy shit sometimes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like wow. the, yeah. hell yeah. Like I and I really just like uh, I I like music that like gives me good energy. So it's like yeah. if 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 the song just make me like move like you like the hype shit. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's other like there's other times where you listen to other songs and they could have like a calmer, a, a, a calmer like zend out effect, right? Yeah, but still give you like that same like feeling, and it's just different feelings like <laughs> and emotions. And I didn't really learn how serious music is like attached to <coughs> emotion and feeling. Like I did because like I've cried like listening to certain songs and. I've like felt like joy and everything, but then yeah. like when me and uh, Earl 
made DNA. That was like, oh, that shit tuned me into a whole nother like fucking uh, like thing with words and music. So now it's like, like Frank Ocean. Yeah. He got slaps. Oh yeah. Like, and then most deaf. He like, oh, yeah. and then and then now like I'm happy because like my mom put me onto so much music like yeah, growing was, up. Yeah, what did your mom put you on to? Fucking everything from like Slayer. Get the fuck out of here, really? All right. Yeah, like <laughs> nice. you know my mom, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, DJ. Right. To like everything though, she loves Prince. She put me on Prince dumb early. Like. I mean, that is a hell of a jump from Slayer to Prince. Oh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's BJ. Because that's range. She's a hell of a lady. Mm-hmm. That's, that's range hell right there. Hell of a woman. There. Well, you know, hey, that, that's, you absorb that, and that's that's dope. Hell you yeah. Know? Because, I mean, it, it seems like it's had an effect in a positive to, to kind of drive you in the direction you're going. And that's dope. And I didn't even know. Like, that's, that's like, the craziest part to me sometimes. I'm like, like... Cause even like me and my dad, like <clears throat> my dad would like, we would like make raps together and shit. But I was like, this is cool. Like also father says shit, but like, I don't <laughs> want to be a rapper, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> but, like, when I, even when I was like really young though, yeah. like, I, like, so now I'm like, damn. Like you were, I was like, you were born for this <laughs> shit. Yeah, like I swear I was feeling like that the other day. I was shit. like, it's crazy how life worked. Born and bred for it, man. That's good shit, man. What what's what's the next move for you? I mean, I know you're you're doing acting too, so do you got something <clears throat> coming out there soon? Um, I think I'm sl- I'm just right now kind of taking my time to like culture myself and look at all the movies that I like from a different perspective, movies that I've never seen, um, and try to kind of learn more about like like actually acting yeah cause like I got in the mid 90s kinda like random like I wasn't like seeking to be an actor it just kinda came Fell across lap, but yeah. I'm the type of person who is like when an opportunity comes up even if it's random <clears throat> I'm going to weigh it out and be like you know what I'm interested in this fuck it if you think you can take it on you'll do it yeah so so I'm cool with it that's, um, but your main focus right now is music and skating. Yeah, mainly. I want to film a part, just because I think that it like I've been hurt, so like I'm fiending to skate. Like, yeah. And I'm finally getting to the point where I'm like back in the streets, getting clips and stuff. So I'm like, and like the type like quality clips that I'm like doing things that I have never done before type shit. So taking I'm like, it to the next level. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> this and this because. I think they're like the easiest to juggle. Right. Like, but I also at the same time want to like kind of slowly start like directing a movie or a show. But I want it to be a cartoon or uh, something neat, something light. I kind of want it to be like a a mixture, kind of more like an anime though. Hmm. Oh, like like an anime. All right. Because I be watching like a lot of those and they have such like good messages. Yeah. And like they make you feel so like they they make your brain like really work more than like cartoons like they provoke thought which and not like, a lot of programming does these yeah. days unfortunately. <clears throat> but that that would be dope. I mean because you got a lot of young, you know, young people following you. So for you to give them a message, man, that's fucking everything. Yeah. I mean, what's the point of fucking what, doing anything, and having like, the platform, yeah. You gonna have, I, like, I feel like if you have all these ears and all these eyes, and you show them nothing, like just shit that you know is either usually like unobtainable or like you know a lot of people will fucking probably will never get a fucking right. Like not saying like, and not saying that everybody want a right either. Like, cause some people don't give a fuck about that at all. Yeah. But I just be, I just be thinking it's fucked up kind of sometimes because people paint a picture, paint a picture, paint a picture when it's like, that's easy for you, but then you'll fault other people. Yeah. It's like, that's not cool. And then some of them don't even have that shit. 
Some of it's just, you know. The front. It's, it's the front because it looks cool on the video or the fucking IG post, but they, you know, ain't really, they don't really have what they, their, you know, the perception is. But, you know, that's. I think people should tell people how to get it more. Yeah. Like, because, I, like, I don't know. If you understand, like, all right, it's tough to live life. Cause that's what, like, if all you I've lived, seen. Yeah, if you've lived a tough life, for sure, you should, you know. So, like, whoever got the keys. Yeah, like, open the them. doors for a others. A little bit, like, hell. That's what I try to do with all my friends. Like, even, like every, everybody, I'm like, I don't even know all the keys. But all the keys I know, I'm going to help y'all as much as I can. Yeah. Like, because. You got to open the door for others. Yeah, you got to teach people how to fish. Yeah, I mean, because. Some people open the door for you, actually. So you gotta, you know, pass, yeah. it, pass it on. Yeah, that's good karma too. Yeah, I mean that's that's always good, man. I, I remember it when people would like give me like a free skateboard. I was like, I was so thankful that somebody would give me something. Like I appreciate that shit so much. That I was like. The only way that I could pay you back is by giving somebody else this feeling. Yeah. Like, that's the only way. That's why I couldn't, like, get shit for free and then be like, sell it or, like, do You it. always got to give back. I was always back. just like, fuck, like, somebody really, because, I don't you know, where I come from, niggas don't ever, you know, it's, it's very yeah. difficult. Or you, there's other ways, like, there's other things you could do, but when you're not trying to do those things and people, like, help you out. Uh, like the tiniest thing that shit matters so much yeah so now that it's all like it's all getting bigger and bigger I'm like what I give gets bigger and bigger like I wanna help that shit is tight but that's why I, that's why I'd be so like fucking I guess thirsty for knowledge that's good man keep doing what you're doing man cause you, you're on the right path for sure man hell yeah and I really appreciate you chopping up with me, like for real. I appreciate you coming to the box and Give getting down, man. Really? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, let them know where they could find you at. Uh, you know, my Instagram is that's on me, T H A T S O N M E. Uh, YouTube is Nakel Smith. I'll be posting music videos on there. Uh, what? Twitter is at Revolution Knock. Spell regular. Knock N A K Revolution R E V O L U T I O N N A K Easy. Yes. What's up? That's what's up? <laughs> I was it's crazy cause um at the carnival, like I did the show and everybody was like, dude, like you like did so good, like blah, blah, blah. and I was like, Yeah, yeah. Like I was hyped as fuck. Cause I mean like that shit was fun, like the crowd was yeah. very receptive. But I didn't think about this, and when I went back and we was like talking like as a team and shit, and uh, Layla was like, "Like I love the show, but you didn't tell nobody where they could find your shit at. <laughs> right? Like, you just like did, and then I, and she was like, "You got to do that because even though it's a lot of people right there, yeah. not everybody is all, yeah. already in tune." So I was like, damn. Yeah, you're winning people fuck. over right there. So you got to always remember. Yeah, know, hey, like you got to tell them, let them know. This is where you find me. Yeah. God damn it. And you can get 3019 on all streaming platforms to 3000-N-A-K-T-E-E-N. Listen to 2019. That's spelled out like T-W-O. T H O U S A D N A K T E E N. <laughs> Go listen. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm famous, fuck. I'm still, I'm spelling that shit correct. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. Good shit. That's good muscle memory right there. In the brain. Word up. It's been another smoke box. Leave comments. Subscribe to the channel. Keep smoking. Fuck with my man Narkel right here. You know what I'm saying? One. Got the heart of a light. Soul of a tight. Mind of a genius. Fly with the height. All your senses are senseless. Resistant, relentless. It's what they call you when your grind is endless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho. I move weight like lipo. Got a big crib like Michael. Out the window with a rifle. My wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white.